Welcome to this new video. This week, we are going to show you how to migrate your Intune settings between two Microsoft 365 tenants. We are going to show you how to configure the migration and run it. First, log in and enter your migration project. Once in your project, your first step is to configure your connectors for connecting to the two Microsoft 365. Click on Connectors and click on New. In the project, navigate to the top left side and click on Connectors. Select Microsoft 365. Select Source as the direction. Select Cross-Tenant Migration and Intune and give your connector a name. Click Next. For this tutorial, we're going to use the automatic mode. You can use the expert mode if you want to manually create your connector. For simplicity, we're not going to use the expert mode in this video, however more details are available in the user guide. In this screen, enter a migration account and password. It doesn't have to be the admin of the tenant. This is the account that will be used to access resources such as shared mailboxes, rooms and equipments, and so on. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. It will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. You will be prompted to enter a global admin account. It is only necessary for installing the Azure AD application and will not be used during the migration process. Now that we have created the source connector, let's set up the target connector. Let's do the same, but this time we need to select target for the direction. First, let's discover the source settings. In the Intune tab, click on Discover. Select the source connector and click on OK. You can monitor and check the logs of the discovery process. Once completed, the Intune policies and objects appear in the list. Let's talk a moment about the assignments. Assignments are the groups, inclusion or exclusion, to which the policies are assigned. The CloudAway interface shows the assignments found on the policies. For this, just click on Assignments. It will show you the groups that have been discovered. Now, let's navigate to the Intune Management Console and let's have a look to one policy and its assignments. Here we see that the Cloud PC Compliance Policy is assigned to the SG Cloud PC Users Group. The CloudAway Intune Discovery process has discovered all the existing policies and their assignments. If we want to migrate the policies, we need to ensure that the assignments groups exist at the target. If a group does not exist, you can either create it manually or using your internal process or let the platform create it for you. For this demo, we will create the missing group through the CloudAway platform. The best way to determine if all the groups assigned to Intune policy are existing at the target is to go to the Assignments Discovery tab and check the Target Found column. If one group is missing, it will be reported here. If you start the migration and one group is missing, the Intune policy will be recreated at the target. However, it won't be assigned to anybody. Therefore, it is important to carefully check the provisioning of the groups used by Intune. When you have your list of assignments, you must try to map them automatically to existing groups and eventually request to provision the missing groups. For this, let's navigate to the Mapping Groups table. The groups discovered during the Intune discovery process 
have been automatically inserted to the list, but note that we don't know yet if it has a matching entry at the target. Now, let's run the get list. It will automatically match the existing groups between the source and the target. For our demo, we will ask to provision the missing groups. Now, our groups are populated. Let's quickly verify that the groups used by Intune exist at the target and are correctly mapped. Let's just switch back to Intune and check the assignments. All good! Let's start the migration. We are going to select Every and trigger the migration. If you prefer, you can select Few Policies and just migrate them. Good! The migration is completed. Thank you for watching and check out our other migration guides.